This is the uh, bay window. We looked at the outside where I mentioned that it'd be water penetration. There's a lot of water penetration here. And I suspect that there might be uh, problems with wood destroying insects. As I say, you should get a, uh, a, a um, termite inspector in here to have a look at this property. This is the window in the master bedroom and there's considerable water damage here. There's evidence of water penetration in this area here. More evidence of water penetration at the windows around the side here. It's all to do with the corking. Evidence of water penetration at the front windows. And there's evidence of uh, wood destroying insects at the front uh, right window. And water penetration at the front left window. This is the AC breaker, we've got 45 amps on it. Let's go and make sure that the unit calls for 45 amps. There's the compressor, the label on the compressor it tells us the uh, size of the breaker. Okay. Yeah, maximum breaker size 45, that's excellent.
AC unit. Cob parts coming through here. Insulation. Place. There are a couple of uh, control cables going through the metal cabinetry. A lot of cabinets can cut those when they don't have a bush and it hasn't got a bush. Gas supply is fine. Got flexible pipe and steel pipe going into the cabinet. Okay, the igniter's lit. That's a yellow glow inside there. You should see the flames light in a moment. Measuring 74. A register in the dining room. 53. 52. That's 52. That's 52 too. Let's go into the office. And we have 52. And then through One again. The exterior compressor, I mean, there's a couple of dings on it. It looks like they've been done by equipment, people doing the bombs and everything around it. They could be uh, combed out. Here you can see there's a considerable amount of sweating on the pipe here because the insulation's missing. That must be replaced.
its own too, it's the front yard. Water heater inspection. First thing you note, there's no uh, safety pan. That's required. It's temperature pressure relief valve. That operates, that's good. And then up here we have the vent hood. That's okay. We'll check on the... Yeah, there's corrosion on the valve here. Can't see any corrosion down here, but definitely got corrosion on the valve, which indicates that the there's corrosion inside the tank and around this area here doesn't look too good. Now, water heaters are notoriously difficult to to guess whether they're gonna go out or not, but let me tell you something about them in this part of the world. They only last about six to ten years. So the water's very really acidic. And they go out very suddenly start leaking so this water heater is probably getting to the end of its safe work of life you can see I'm having trouble taking this panel out and we're looking inside let's turn it up we get a nice blue flame that's good <laughs> 